Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can convert multi-select drop-down to multi-select checkboxes in Power Apps. We all know that when we have SharePoint as a data source and if we have multi-select choice column available into our form, what happen here is whenever we add the form control or whenever we are customizing our form, it will show choice value as drop-down. But sometimes client's requirement is somewhat which is different. Client requires multi-select checkboxes instead of multi-select drop-down. So how can we achieve that functionality? I am going to demonstrate step-by-step -step procedure for the entire thing. So stay tuned throughout the entire video. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the development process. So here I am on my machine and I have opened one of the my power apps. Here I have one SharePoint list where I have title and product category column. My product category column is a choice column and it has multiple checkboxes, multiple selection allowed. You can see that my column name is product category and I have four different choices here and I have selected allow multiple selections from here. So it will allow multi select value from my drop down right now what i want to do here is i want to customize my power apps form and what i want to do here is i want to make these choices as a checkboxes value so let me show you how we can achieve this this is the end outcome that we are going to perform this is my power apps form and as you can see that i have converted my product category to different checkboxes and same way whenever we are editing any item from the list it will automatically selected those choices over here so let me show you the procedure step by step over here so here i have one of the blank list created here now first of all let me customize my power apps form so i'm just clicking on customize forms from here these are the basic steps that you all know that how you can customize your out of the box list form. So this will create this out of the box form but I need only two fields from my form. So I am just removing some unwanted fields from here. So basically I just need title and product category only these two columns over here. So I just removed all other fields from here. And here we can see that our product category is a multi select choice column and it is showing as drop down. But instead of drop down, I wanted to make that field as a checkbox field. Now, let me show you the procedure. So, the first thing that we need to perform here is we just need to select this product category data card. So, I just selected this data card here. Let me just increase its height a little bit. And now, let me just add some checkboxes inside my data card. So I am selected that data card already. Now unlock that data card first and let me just add checkboxes. For that go to insert menu, go to input and from here just select checkbox. So I am selecting checkbox. I want to add four different checkbox over here. So I am just adding the checkbox over here. One, two, three and four. So I have added four different checkboxes here. So now let me just uh, arrange that properly. So I am arranging this checkbox so it's over here like this. Now let's provide its value. So for that we just need to provide the option value. For that just go to your setting and enter the same value that you have entered in your choice. So the first option is grocery second one is household so we just need to simply copy and paste our choice value over here that's the only thing that we need to do electronics and clothing so let's follow the same procedure so here we are we have uh, created four different checkboxes here now what is the next step now i need to write on check and on uncheck event for each individual checkbox is over here. Now I want to make a collection like let's say for an example if I am checking this value this value will be added to my collection. Let's say I am selecting electronics 
this particular value so what it will do is it will check like if any other value selected from this all four checkboxes if yes it will append that value with that selected value right so we wanted to make that type of collection over here so we just need to use some line of code on check and on uncheck event of all four checkboxes so let me just show you which code do we need to add and I'm going to provide that code as well and I'm going to explain you how that code will work so uh, I just selected all four checkboxes together now I'm just adding some line of code here so let me just select on check event so I'm just selecting on check event now here we just need to paste my code now let me explain you this code like what do we mean by that so basically I have created one collection named products now let's say I have four checkboxes so first of all we just need to check if checkbox one dot value meaning if it is checked then it will add grocery because checkbox one is for grocery checkbox two is for household checkbox three is for electronics and checkbox four is for clothing so whenever we check any checkboxes from all of these four checkboxes what it will do is it will add that entry to my products collection like this now the second statement second statement is something let's say for an example by mistakenly if any value goes as a blank in my collection it will just remove the blank value from the collection so it will just uh, clear out it will just uh, apply filter on my collection so my collection name is products and first of all it will filter products and it should not be blank so all other values will be same as that so basically I just need to add this code over here on check event so hope this is clear for you now so far you are good now the same code we need to add on on uncheck event of the checkboxes as well so I have added the same code on on uncheck event of the checkboxes now what I wanted to do here is let me just taste that like if I select the multiple value if the collection is uh, preparing properly or not so let me just select these two values from here and now let me just go to the file and collections so you can see that two values has been added here grocery and household same way let's say I'm just removing this and instead of that adding clothing so what happened here is collection will be updated accordingly so the first step is that we need to make the collection on check and on uncheck event of each checkboxes now we need to select this particular drop down you just need to select the inside data card so make sure that you will select this data card now you just need to select an event default selected items now in default selected item we need to provide the collection that we created on check or on uncheck event of the checkboxes so select that and just provide the name of that particular collection the collection name is products so we just need to provide that name over here same way after that what we need to do here is we need to select this entire data card and then we need to select the update event and in this update event what we need to do here is we just need to remove this entire thing from here and here we just need to pass products over here right so this is one change now what we wanted to do here is we just wanted to make the visibility false for this particular data card and now we just only wanted to show this checkboxes to the end users so let me just arrange that properly and now let me just save and publish these changes and let's see what it will reflect into the form so I'm just publishing this form to the SharePoint now let's open the SharePoint list and check the reflection over there let me just add one taste entry let me select these two values from here and let me hit save so you can see that the value has been stored successfully now let me open the edit form so you can see that during edit time it doesn't 
automatically check the value that has been stored so how can we do that for that let me just customize the form again and let me just make some of the changes into my power apps so let's just open our app so I already opened this app here now what I wanted to do here is in order to select the default value for this checkboxes I just need to open the default event for each checkboxes so select all the checkboxes together then open the default event so this is the default event by default its data type is boolean so its data type is false right meaning it will be unchecked when it comes for the first time during default now I need to use some line of code over here now let me explain you that thing in detail so in edit form there is one concept to understand that what value comes for the edit time we just need to select this entire data card and this is the value that we will be getting when user clicks on edit the value is this item dot product category so basically we just wanted to here we are getting the entire table during the edit time now first of all uh, during this example we have stored this grocery and clothing so basically this value is something which I'm getting in a table format during edit time but I'm going to convert that to comma separated string and then I'm going to check like if this label is something which is available to the selected value or not if it is available then I just wanted to make that as a checkbox as a tick mark else it should be keep as a uncheck format right so let me just select all the checkboxes and now let me just add this particular code over here so basically the code is self dot text in concrete this item dot product category and the value column will be separated with the comma so this item dot product category is the default value of this entire data card so whatever value user has stored it is showing over here so the same value we are going to use to concatenate with comma so uh, self dot text meaning the checkbox value so self for grocery self dot text value is grocery for electronics self dot text value is electronics self dot text in concatenated string uh, the entire table that we have with comma if the string is available then it will be tick mark otherwise untick so we just need to add this line of code here now let's publish this and let's check this thing and here we are the stored value has been selected auto populated in the edit form like this so this is how we can convert our drop down to checkboxes easily with few lines of code hope this is clear for you now and don't worry I am going to provide this code file to my github account you can directly download the code file from there and practice more about that if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and podcast if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to the form fill the form and you will be receiving a daily notification on your whatsapp number also i have launched one podcast channel just click on this link it will redirect you to my podcast homepage. you can listen your favorite podcast on different podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast spotify and lots more so stay tuned with me have a great day goodbye